In this video, I'm going to demonstrate a piece of vintage electronic test equipment, the Heathkit IT11 capacitor checker. This unit measures resistance, capacitance, and capacitor leakage. It can also measure inductance with an external reference and transformer turns ratio. It uses a magic eye tube indicator rather than a meter. It was sold as a kit by the Heathkit company from 1961 to 1968 when it was replaced by the IT28, which was almost identical except for a different color scheme. The IT28 was sold until 1977. This unit sold new for between $30 and $40 in the 1960s. I bought this unit used on eBay and it came with the original manual. Let's take a look at how it works. I'm going to make a basic resistance measurement using a 10k ohm resistor using this resistance substitution box. So we set the function switch to resistance, in the, this case the R times 100 range, and then we set the mode to bridge. Now we adjust the dial until we see the electronic eye open and adjust for a maximum opening. Reading off the dial, we have a value of about 100. So on the R times 100 scale, that gives us a resistance value of about 10K or 10,000 ohms, which is correct. Now let's make a capacitance measurement. So I'll connect to the test terminals the capacitance substitution box. And this is currently set to a value of 0 0.01 microfarad. So we set the range now to capacitance the C times 0 0.01 range and selecting again bridge mode and adjusting for an open eye on the eye tube we now get a value of approximately 1 so on the 0 0.01 range that means 0 0.01 microfarad another function the cap checker can perform is capacitor leakage a lot of old capacitors, such as this old 1940s or so vintage uh, wax-covered paper capacitor, tend to become electrically leaky over the years. This has a mode specifically for measuring capacitor leakage. Leakage. So what we do is we select the type of capacitor, in this case paper, mica, etc., and select the leakage mode and then we turn up the voltage for the leakage test watching to see at what point the I2 remains closed. We see here at the 50 volt range the I stay enclosed which means there's significant leakage at about 50 volts. Now because this is a 600 volt rated capacitor that means that it's not meeting its standards and it's actually quite leaky and should be replaced. As a test, we'll take a more modern paper capacitor, a new one, and just confirm that it doesn't exhibit any significant leakage. As we step up right up to the maximum of 600 volts. So that indicates that the capacitor is good. The tester also has leakage ranges for electrolytic capacitors, both miniature electrolytics such as this type which are small and have lower voltage ratings and larger electrolytics which tend to be used on older radios and have 100, 300, 600 volt or so ratings. And it adjusts the leakage test accordingly. You might recall I mentioned the voltage test going up as high as 600 volts and yes there is 600 volts across the terminals here during testing. It's a relatively low current so it's probably not lethal but you can get a nasty shock if you touch the unit under test while you're doing the leakage test at the high voltage ranges. The testing is normally done using a frequency of 60 Hertz. For more accurate measurements, particularly for small capacitors, you can connect an external signal generator and run it at typically 1 kilohertz. 
The unit can also measure the inductance if you use an external inductor as a reference, and it will then show you the value of the inductance being measured as a ratio compared to the standard. Finally, you can measure the turns ratio of a transformer, and I'll demonstrate that. You connect the transformer windings to both the reference and the test connections, and set mode to external standard, and adjust for the I to open. The point that the I opens indicates the turns ratio of the transformer. In my case, I get a measured value of about 13, and uh, using some test equipment with a frequency generator and oscilloscope, I got a measured ratio for this particular transformer of about 16. So my measurements here are not too far off, actually probably about as good as I would expect testing this at 60 hertz when it's uh, actually an audio transformer. Overall, the instrument is not very accurate, but was useful for hobbyists and repairmen in its time. It was much less expensive than comparable laboratory instruments of the time. This type of instrument today has been mostly replaced by much more accurate multimeters and LCR meters. Typical inexpensive digital multimeter DMM like this one will measure resistance and usually capacitance. More expensive ones will measure inductance. You can also purchase more elaborate LC meters such as this version I built from a kit from almost all digital electronics. This provides uh, very accurate measurements on an LCD display of course, it has a microprocessor in it, which of course was not possible in the 1960s. One use for the capacitor checker is reforming old electrolytic capacitors. With age, these capacitors tend to fail, but can often be restored by, quote, reforming them over a period of time with an increasing voltage and limited current. The leakage test is ideal for this. This is possibly the only reason to keep one of these units around, other than for historical and nostalgic reasons. So there you have it, the Heathkit IT11 capacitor checker. Watch for my other videos on vintage ham radio and electronic test equipment.